Noisy pixel. Being a fan of 2D action games, I'm always down to see the genre be taken to new heights. When it comes to more modern entries in the genre, there's no developer that I think does it better than Inti Creates. Now the developer has released their newest title, and with it a focus on multiplayer and mission-based gameplay. And it turns out that they have seemingly raised the bar once again for what I expect of the genre. This is Noisy Pixels review for Dragon Marked for Death. Dragon Marked for Death's story begins with the Divine Knights invading the Dragon Blood Clan's village and destroying it and all its people. Players assume the role of one of four different characters who are the remaining members of this clan and are each given a unique skill and power thanks to the Astral Dragon Artrum. The game comes in two different versions, Frontline Fighters and Advanced Attackers. I was fortunate enough to play both versions of the game for this review as well as play the game online, which is where the game really shines but I'm getting ahead of myself. I mainly tested my skills with the Advanced Attackers package, which includes the Shinobi and the Witch. As you might have guessed, I mainly played as the Witch because, well, I like cute characters and extremely tough gameplay. And trust me, Dragon Mark for Death has no shortage of tough gameplay. As you level up, characters learn new abilities as well as reach higher levels of their dragon skills. Playing the game single player as a Witch is probably the hardest experience that I've had in a 2D action game in a long time, but it's ultimately what I signed up for when I chose her. With that said, if you had started a campaign with other the characters, the game makes it pretty easy to switch between characters whenever you want. The reason why I felt like mastering the witch was because how crucial she is during battle. Her magic is an absolute beast during battle, and that gives her the ability to access different forms of elemental attacks. In order to unleash an attack, players need to input a series of button presses to cast a spell. For example, pressing YYY will unleash a wind attack, but I can charge this by pressing XYXYXY for a more powerful attack. I should mention that all the characters play differently, and it's crucial to find out which works best for you. After playing a bit of every character, I found the most enjoyment from the witch character class, but the shinobi character class is actually pretty dope to say the least. Dragon Mark for Death has players choose quests from the pub that will send the player to a variety of different levels. It's not uncommon to replay levels from different star points, but the most important thing here is the amount of different objectives there are. These quests range from your typical go ride and fight a boss to more unique quests like purify water or help a balloon reach the top of a tower. There are even quests that require you to protect a citizen or a ship from enemies. Sadly, there is some trial and error to the quests and the lack of direction about what to do. Suffice to say there's a lot of different quests found in the game to limit it from failing too repetitive. However, some gimmicks and levels left me a little frustrated. Although Dragon Mark for Death can potentially be completed solo, this is a game that is most enjoyable when playing with others. Each player plays a specific role in the battle that makes levels easier and far more entertaining. You see, this is a game that needs to be played with other people and trust me, you won't be let down. Some of the later missions, especially the story missions, do require multiplayer gameplay unless you do grind to higher levels. Dragon Mark for Death is a beautiful game boasting next level pixel art design and a musical score that brings the adventure to life. Every bit of detail in the characters and world makes exploring it feel like a reward. This is a game that has been crafted for fans of 2D action games with a load of options and customizable features to fine tune the experience. The developers truly know their audience. However, this game is extremely difficult and requires a good amount of time. There's no shortage of things to do in Dragon Mark for Death and with multiple endings and a ton of different quests to take on, this game could potentially take you more than 20 hours to complete, and that's with one character class. Noisy Pixel has given Dragon Marked for Death an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Noisy Pixel is ran by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content, and if you want, check out the website at noisypixel.net.